Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 14th. And we're going to school. We're going to class. Well, she's going to work. I'm going to class. <laughs> I was about to start vlogging, but the geese are geesing. Today, like I mentioned, is Tuesday. I have class in the morning, and I don't usually have anything in the afternoon, but today I'm meeting with my editor for my short film so we can talk about the edit. If you didn't know, I am a film student at Humber College in Toronto, and I'll be documenting a week of my life as a film student. I have a cold coffee in my hot coffee cup, and now my brain is so confused. I keep thinking that my hot coffee has just gone cold. The lighting kind of sucks in here, so I apologize, and I don't know how soundproof this room is, or if there's anybody else in here. It is now the afternoon. I had my class this morning. Class went well. It was my documentary class. We're developing documentaries this semester, and then we're actually going to film them next semester. So I'm developing my idea to pitch to my professors at the end of the semester. I spend a lot of time on campus between not only having classes on campus, but also working on campus. But honestly, it's how I get my work done. So at the moment, I'm actually in an editing suite that you can book out through my school. And I'm waiting to meet with my editor, but I booked it out for a few hours beforehand so I can sit here and get some work done. And I find that I get a lot of, a lot more work done while I'm on campus than versus being at home because I always get distracted and like lay on my bed, go on TikTok, all that stuff. Whereas like here, I find that I don't as much. That's my little tip for you guys is to, you know, work on campus if you can. I live close to campus so it's easier for me to do that but if you guys can't then obviously i also love like working on a commute like if you guys take the train um would 100 percent work on commute i always get like so many good ideas when i'm on a train um like when i go home to my parents i get so many ideas and i find it like really like you know works the brain works the creative juices so yeah that's what's happening now yeah that's what's happening now i'm super excited to work with my editor in a little bit she's coming in about uh, an hour i think so i have some time to you know get some of my stuff done good morning it is now wednesday i had a terrible sleep last night um I also had a terrible sleep last Wednesday, so what is it about Wednesday? Here is my fit for today. My floors are slanted, so my chair always moves, so just... So, my pants are the baggy Levi's, the baggy dad Levi's. My shirt is from Francia. And then I'm wearing my favorite necklace from Ana Luisa. It is the Lexi necklace. And this video was actually a partnership with Ana Luisa. So, this necklace was actually a gift from my parents. Um, like I mentioned, it's the Lexi necklace. I love this necklace. I also have the matching earrings. Not only is it my favorite thing to receive, but my favorite thing to gift is Ana Luisa. And actually last year for Christmas, I gifted my mom and my sister matching bracelets between the three of us, the three gals in the family. They not only have high quality jewelry at affordable prices, but they also have so many unique designs. So you'll definitely be able to find something that your loved one will love. And of course, I cannot just be telling you that you should gift these without giving you some suggestions. So of course, we've got the Lexi necklace. Um, which I love and I feel like so woman empowered when I wear this necklace But then if you're looking for something a little bit more simple Leo regular short, which is just this chain very pretty and it's like it's like the perfect size that it 
can be dainty but then it can also be like a statement piece also the packaging that Anna Luisa comes with is so cute and I love using these little bags I just like in my purse I also love the mini pearl huggy hoops I also have these in silver because I can never make up my mind so I have some Anna Luisa pieces in silver and some in gold um and I love these they're like a simple hoop but they're a little bit elevated so they're still like I said about the necklace it's still a little statement piece so they're perfect for your family and they can wear them all the time and then my last little recommendation is actually something I gifted to my mom and I hope she's not watching this video but something I plan to gift to somebody else and it is this mama necklace this is perfect like i mentioned for your mom but for also any new moms in your life but yes go visit anna luisa via the link in my description and let me know what you would get for your family and friends thank you so much to anna luisa for partnering with me on this video since i woke up early i have tons of time so let's go get some breakfast from mcdonald's i decided that i'm actually gonna go to starbucks it's a much more expensive option but i'll be more satisfied chestnut praline latte the cars are so loud um and the the spinach feta egg wrap question mark i have no idea what it's called they took away the beyond meat um breakfast sandwich and i'm so sad we've got the coffee we're walking to campus i think it's about a 20 minute walk it's kind of chilly but i think it'll help wake me up because i got absolutely no sleep last night this guy is so pretty so I'm going to have my first sip of Chestnut Praline. Chestnut Praline is my favorite holiday Starbucks drink. I know a lot of people really like the sugar cookie one, but Chestnut Praline's always been my favorite, like ever since I started drinking coffee. Delicious. This is exactly what I needed this morning. You know that TikTok sound that's like, oh, you're that girl that takes pictures of the sky? That's what I feel like right now, because the sky is so pretty. And I'm just like, oh, the sun, it's been so dark recently, and the sun is out. Anyways, I'm on campus now. Yesterday got a little bit chaotic, so I didn't end up vlogging for the rest of the day. I was also so tired that like I kind of forgot, but today will be better. This morning we have screenwriting and then I have work and then I have my elective in the evening, which is meditation. Also, if you're like going into college or if you're like planning out courses, I would not recommend taking your elective in the evening unless you're like a night owl and all that stuff. Like for me personally, especially in the winter, when it gets dark at five o'clock, my elective is from 5 to 8. No thank you. I don't want to go ever, but I, ha I go, but I don't want to. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Julia. Oh. Oh. Disco. Disco. We had to run. We had to run, guys. We had to run. How embarrassing. <laughs> Everyone was looking at us too. <laughs> they were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Yes. yesterday that I'd update you and then proceeded to not update you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> today will be better. I said that yesterday but today, today will be the day. We're gonna get bruises from getting on and off these buses. She already has bruises. I'm forming one currently. Okay so we've made it to campus. The only pa probably one bruise from that bus but that bus was zooming down the street fastest we've ever gotten to campus. And then, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm like, and then what? I'm like, I'm like, and then what happened? Okay, so today I have directing this morning. Um, we have been combined with our editing block so that we can view rough cuts and get feedback on our rough cuts. Um, so yeah, there is a film in the works, but you guys might not see that film until like 
mid 2024 because I'm gonna try and submit it to some festivals and I can't upload it publicly if I'm submitting it to festivals. So I s I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Hello. It is 8.30 in the evening. Um, I did not do a good job of updating you today. I'm so tired. Today was good. We watched, we watched Rough Cuts in my class this morning and it went really well, gave some feedback. And then I had work. Work wasn't as busy today, but still chaotic because there was a thesis film shooting in the studios. And I'm so tired. And there is open house tomorrow for my college and I'm working I'm so tired and I have to be up at 8 tomorrow but it's only 8 30 so I'm like is it 2 well I don't have to be up at 8 I have to be at work at 8 so I'll probably get up at 6 30 so I'm already cozy in bed and I was watching Hunger Games Catching Fire and I've got my my Ikea bear here and I should go to bed soon before I fall asleep watching TikToks <laughs> but I will see you tomorrow Day. I did yesterday exactly what I was trying not to do, which was I fell asleep on my bed with the lights on and all that fun stuff until 3 a.m. and then got up and turned the lights off, brushed my teeth, and went back to bed. But now I'm on my way to work so I can work open house. I'm gonna stop by McDonald's to grab a coffee. And yeah, I'm feeling excited. Um, I'm kind of early, so I'm gonna sit and read my book first at first. I'm reading Daisy Hates right now, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I read Magnolia Parks during the summer, and I'm reading Daisy Hates with my roommate, Julia, who you've seen in this vlog. Feels like a repeat of Magnolia Parks, if I'm being honest, but, you know, the vibes are there. But I will update you later, or at least try to update you later. I haven't been very good at updating you later in this vlog. We just got off the bus, we're heading to open house. I'm kind of nervous, but like nervous in the way of like, I don't know what to expect. And like, I've done open house before, but like in a different job working for my school. So like I was doing like campus tours where now I'm like really advertising the film program. So I guess we'll see what happens. It's kind of just like, film program's great. I really like directing and then telling people about that. Thank you so much for watching. It's now almost a week later. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Anna Luisa with the link in the description and I will see you guys later.